Hey, this is the video for number three, four, and five. So if you missed one of them, you gotta watch the video for all three, but it will not take long. In number three, which property does that illustrate? Well, if you notice, the numbers are the same. Four plus two plus three, four plus two plus three. The only thing that changed is how's, how the numbers are grouped. If the two plus three is grouped in the first one, the four plus two is grouped in the second one, and that is the associative property. Okay, in the second one, what you'll notice is 8 times 2 equals 2 times 8. The only thing that changed is the order of the numbers. And the commutative property says the order of the numbers does not matter. And then the last one, here's what you'll see. 1 times 32 is 32. That would be the identity property. The identity property says the order of um, or any number times 1 keeps its identity. All right, so now here's what you must do. You must do the bonus problem down below. So I'm gonna slide this up and here's what you've gotta do. It says, rewrite the problem using the associative property. So you have six times two times three with a two times three in parentheses. I want you to rewrite that right here using the associative property. So remember what the associative property says above. So pause the video, do that, and when you're done, restart it, go. All right, let's see if you got this one right. So when you rewrite a problem like this using the associative property, one of the things is you don't want to change the order of the numbers. So I still have 6 times 2 times 3. The only thing I want to change is where those parentheses are. So instead of them being around the 2 and the 3, I'm going to put them around the 6 and the 2. And that's how you do it. All right, that's it for this video. Hope it helped.